Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do a overhead adjustment on a Detroit DD15, DD16. This engine is a DD16, but I believe the procedure is the same on a DD15. Uh, DD13 is the same except for the lash on the exhaust rocker. So uh, you want to make sure your engine is cold when you do this adjustment. Um, because metal expands when it's hot and then you'll probably over adjust it have it be a little bit too loose once it cools down it'll make it be a bigger clearance there alright so let's get started first of all you want to put your engine on TDC to put your engine on TDC you want to put it on that mark there as you can see if you look at the other ones there uh, they don't have a mark this one has a little Endant in it. You want to put that in the middle of your opening there. Frightliner does sell a tool to turn the engine that you attach here, but I didn't use it. I just used the helper on the. I'll show you here. I used the ratchet on the alternator and got a helper to turn it for me while I look. I feel like that's a little bit faster, and you don't have to buy a tool if you don't do this job often, which. We don't usually work on these engines that often. Alright, now that your engine is on TDC, you can either you either be on TDC1 or TDC6. So to check which one you're on, if you look, TDC1 would be 1, 2, and 4, so you can check if they're loose. These are kinda these have no play in them. 1, 2, oh sorry, that's 2 and 4. They don't have any play in them, um, so that means we're probably on TDC6. So if we check those, see this one, you can hear that, 5 and 6, they're all loose. So that's the, that's the valves we're going to be adjusting. Um, intake on 3, 5, and 6, and exhaust on 2, 4, and 6. Alright, so we can go ahead and loosen it, that's 1, 2, here's a third one. Uh, take that nut, loosen that nut. Both of them. All right. So for your intake, your lash is going to be 0.4 millimeters, or 16 thousandths of an inch. So you can go ahead and put that in. Uh, tighten that down just a bit. Make sure it slides smoothly but firmly in there. And then you're good. You can tighten that nut back up. Uh, the torque spec is 37 foot-pounds. Then you should want to make sure it's still good. It's probably better to use a crow's foot. This one's still good. So same thing with the one right next to it, 0.4 millimeters, make sure this is snug, slides smoothly but firmly, and then you can tighten the nut down and torque it. So that's it on intake number three. So you want to keep going to five and six and do the same thing on five and six and then we're going to go over to the exhaust side. I should have mentioned uh, the socket sizes. So 17. Um, you'll, you'll need a 13 as well to take off the valve cover and all that if you've never done this before. And uh, the little cover underneath. And then a six Allen socket. Alright, so we're going to go on to the exhaust now. Our intake is done, our 3, 5, and 6. So for exhaust, we're going to do 2, 4, and 6. That's 2, 4, and 6 here. The exhaust shim is 0 0.6 millimeters or 24 thousandths of an inch. And we're adjusting it exactly the same way we did on the intake. Just put your shim in there on both of them and adjust it 
to 0.6 millimeters. So again, you want to make sure tighten it down until it's snug, so that it moves in there smoothly but firmly. And then you can go ahead and torque it down. And that's it for that one. You can go ahead and do that one. And then uh, we can go ahead and do four and six exactly the same way. So once you're done with the TDC-6, you want to go ahead and go back under the truck and you want to turn your um, flywheel 180 degrees and put it back on TDC, 100, I mean sorry, 360 degrees and put it back on TDC and then we're going to do a TDC-1. Alright, so we're back under here and uh, I've had <clears throat> someone came help me to turn this flywheel 360 degrees and um, so it goes all the way around and comes back to that indent in the middle of your window and once you do that once you do that you're ready to do TDC 1 so uh, TDC 1 would be intake 1 that's 1, 2, and 4 and exhaust 1, 3, and 5 just to make sure it's the right one you want to check uh, 1, 3, and 5 And you want to make sure that they, they're all moving. If they're down like here 2 is, then um, you'd be on TDC 6. You want all the ones on, on that section to be loose. Um, sometimes your lash might be just a little tight, so just take a look at it and make sure they're not like pressing on the valves like here number 2 is. And you can go ahead and do your valve lash on that. Uh, it would be exactly the same as we did on the first section, but you're doing one, two, four, and one, three, five. All right. So once you've done your valve adjustment, you're ready to adjust your um, exhaust brake rockers. So to adjust your exhaust brake rockers, you want to turn the engine, like I showed you earlier, until you get maximum valve lift. And what that means is, let me show you here real quick. You want the lobe to be pressing on the rocker at its highest point. So right now we're on an injector 3. So once that lobe, on the way, whichever cylinder you're working on, once that lobe is at the highest point on that cylinder on the intake side, you're ready to adjust the exhaust rocker on the same side. Alright, to adjust it you want to just loosen that nut. And you can put your spacer in there. It should be uh, 4.6 millimeters. This is my homemade one. It goes in there and you want to make it nice and snug. And once it's snug you can go ahead and torque it. And um, all, the, all the nuts on this uh, top end gets torqued to 37 foot pounds. Once that's done, that's it for that cylinder, um, and you can go ahead and keep turning it to adjust in, um, your next. Um, so the firing order on this engine is one five three six two four. So since we did number three now, the, your next one that's going to be at its highest point would be uh, cylinder number six. All right. So you just keep turning on that that lobe is at the highest point against the rocker. And yeah, you'd be ready to adjust that one next. And uh, another thing I didn't mention, I have the newer engine. I, th I believe the older DD15, DD16, they have a 4.1 millimeter shim. So, depending on what year your engine is, you're using a, either a 4.1 millimeter or a 4.6 millimeter shim. So that's all for today, guys. I'll see if I can find you guys something else to watch later on. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. And 
let me know how I did. If you can go ahead and click the like and subscribe buttons, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all another day.